life has existed on Earth for at least 3.5 billion years. Humans have only been around for about 200,000 of them. And the last 60 or so have been so significant that some experts say it's already time to officially record the impact of humans in the geological record. Today, mankind influences more than 83% of the Earth's surface in some way or another. Our movements, agriculture, industry, and especially our nuclear testing have left permanent marks on the fossil record. Scientists call the human epoch, or at least want to call it, the Anthropocene. It could have started as early as 1800 and was definitely underway by the 1950s. But geologists say these markers aren't significant enough to warrant a new era. There just isn't enough impact in the fossil record yet, despite everything we've done to this planet. Since the 1950s, human activity has pushed Earth's natural systems so far, there's concern the planet won't be able to accommodate human civilization as we know it in the future. Scientists agree. Humans are driving potentially serious climate change. Global temperatures have climbed. Oceans have warmed and grown more acidic. And as the climate shifts, animals and plants could find it even harder to adapt. Extinctions could grow more common. Plus, while we've created new species thanks to domestication and our movements around the globe, those species don't have the same genetic diversity as ones that have just now died out after millions of years. In any case, impact on these animals will eventually make its way into the geological record. Whether it gets its own name or not, some of the first fossil evidence of overall human influence on the planet will be the bones of the domesticated chicken. For Newsy, I'm Kate Grumke.